Welcome, my beautiful souls and my fellow Virgos. Um, today is going to be just what I'm going to call a special reading. Um, I've been kind of taking a, like a mental break, not really a physical break, but a mental break. Um, and what I mean by that is like, I'm not putting any pressure on myself as it relates to like, you know, is it time for a reading? Um, instead, what I'm doing is I'm letting it come to me. So like, if I don't feel it, well, first of all, I want to say I'll feel it first. You know what I mean? Like I feel it out. And then sometimes the comment section, you know, I'll notice like a sign is going, th like a lot of people are going through, um, maybe difficult energy. And, um, so anyways, Virgo called to me today, Virgo. Um, we are going to do this like a full reading, so it will probably be long. I do feel like it's going to be uh, more spiritual. You know, I read through my guides who connect to your guides. Um, so definitely feel free to ask your guides for like, you know, confirmation. Have me, you know, whether it be like a number or you know, something said, or, you know, you resonate with, like, I don't know what's up in my nails. Um, you resonate with, like, angel bumps. I've been noticing a lot of the readings have had, like, angel, re angel numbers in them. So, we'll see. Let's just see why we're being called here today. Um, let me introduce the decks I'm going to use. So, of course, we're going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom. Um, you know, the Virgin Mary. We are going to use the Gilded Tarot to go deeper. Um, you know how I've been looking at these readings? Like, when I do a reading, it's like a movie to me. And just like the beginning of the movie... Like, the beginning of a reading feels like it's revealing the characters. You know what I mean? It's telling us, like, okay, here's the characters. Here's what's been going on. And then I feel like, and then we go another level, and it brings us to more of now the current energy. Um, and we go another level, and it brings us to potential. Um, so that's kind of how I look at a reading. It's like a movie. But I do feel like it's different levels, and that's why I use different cards also. I feel like this is, of course, the first level. And in this reading, um, we are going to use the Major Arcanas again. So, you know, um, they're kind of like the bullet points, but let's just call them another level. And then I did bring out the Romance Angels just in case. Well, that sounded like a southern twang there, like the Romance Angels, um, just in case love comes up. I also have a deck out that I haven't used yet. Well, I did use them um, in one reading, and it would have been probably about two months ago. I think it was a love reading. Um, well, it's called Clarifying Love Situations. And they're two-sided. Um, or not two-sided, but... You know, depending on how they come out, it can mean a different message. So, I showed you the top. There's the actual message there. Shallowed water. Beware illusions that skim the surface for true understanding lies in the D D E in thorns. Look beyond the romance to discern true intentions. Okay, anyways, so I don't know, like. I'm going to put them on the table, and then if we feel called to them, then we'll go to them. Uh, for the main spread, I'm going to use the Universal Tarot. It's not really a deck I use often for Virgo, <laughs> but 
it definitely felt like it definitely felt called. Um, by the way, this is for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. Many of you um, are probably going to be intuitively guided. You know, you may not have Virgo or know if you have Virgo in your chart, but something's going to, you know, like your intuition's going to, doesn't mean you pay attention to it right away. I feel often like when you see a longer reading, like you scroll past it, um, but then it sticks in your brain for some reason and, and then you go back to it. Um you know, that's your guides doing their jobs. And your only job is to listen. You know what I mean? I um, mean, that's really with any reading. So anyway, um, let's go ahead. And I want to say open this reading, but I also want you to understand, I feel like a reading really opens the minute I begin talking. I think four other signs have gotten their own special readings so far. Um, and I don't even know if all 12 signs will. Honestly, I'm just I'm going by my intuition and doing the ones I'm, I'm really feeling called towards. And being a uh, Virgo, I was going to say Scorpio. Interesting. Being a, uh, I was going to say it again, being a Virgo, and my boyfriend being a Virgo sun, Virgo moon, I get Virgo energy. I get all of it, the good, the bad, the ugly. All right. We have airing, caring. Heaven cares for me, and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others, and the world. So, I gotta stay open. I gotta care about myself. You know, there's nothing wrong with putting you first, and sometimes you need to. Interesting, I'm, I'm noticing how, like, it, to me, it feels like these animals coming towards her, um, just, like, instinctively. Some of you may carry that energy where, like, uh, my daughter has that. <laughs> where, like, you know, a strange dog will come into a room of people and they'll go directly to my daughter. So, anyway, I feel that. All right, let's put these away. And let's bring in the major arcanas. Give them a couple shuffles. Not a whole lot here. I don't really read them as people. I read them more just as the energy. Like the energy that's, that's around us. Or available. Or is old and stale, whatever it may be. Okay, let's give them a cut. Again, not not a lot to cut. I can't even cut them. All right. Wow. All right. So we're not taking all these. Actually, we have three. Interesting because. <clears throat> None of them are like up or down, you know, upright or reversed. They're all kind of sideways. Hmm. Well, the Empress is reversed. Interesting. Yet, that puts the hangman in the awakened state. And then the high priestess is almost like, you know, I don't find this very often, but where 
maybe the Empress is um, uncertain about something. You know, I don't even want to put it in reverse because I feel like it, it's not really meant to go in reverse. You know, it's interesting that Mother Mary brings out caring and the first thing, the first one that Mother Mary wants you to care about is yourself and the Empress being in reverse. Um, it's almost like I'm not. Or like maybe I just for some reason feel like I'm not receiving signs clearly. Um, even though the hangman is in the awakened state. So for some of you, it definitely feels like it's calling for you to like really trust your intuition. You know, if we think about the Empress. Um, and, you know, I want to remember that I feel like when I do these reading, it's readings, it's because I do feel that there are some who need it. And that's why I'm careful. You know what I mean? Um, or I should say, open. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, so anyways, the Empress, creative, gentle, but also powerful. Um, someone who, like, lives in the present moment who, you know, um, normally is abundant. Some of you, it just may not be, you know, maybe it's been a while. Maybe you feel like this emperor in the reverse. Some of you could be single mom, you know, and you're just trudging through. But I feel like with the hangman in the awakened state, that means something's changing. Um, but I feel like it's saying that it's going to need your trust, you know, maybe your action. And how do I know? Well, I feel like it's coming through your intuition, you know, your spiritual being, the intellect to the soul, and, you know, the human body being the vessel. It carries the soul. <clears throat> All right. Let's put these away. Some of you could have certainly lost a mother or a mother figure. Um, but boy, I, I just want to say, if that's the case, it's like showing the energy ascending immediately. Right? It's like the hangman is free. Right? Spiritual awareness. I understand it now. Um... And same thing, like maybe if I'm not picking up signs, I'm not trusting my intuition, it could be numbers. Um, it could be a song. Interesting, all of a sudden the wind just started really blowing outside. Anyway, all right, well, let's keep going. I feel like it, it's very clear that mom or, you know, a mother-like figure um, is in heaven. Like, to me, that feels very clear. But also free from, like, Anything that bound them in this earthly world, 
You know what I mean? If there's like things that bound them, they're free of it. It's gone. Maybe it's saying that you can do the same, but on this earthly plane, like you can free yourself. Hmm. Five of Cups. So, potentially you are missing someone. Five of Cups is where your focus is at. And, you know, it's something of an emotional nature. Normally means, you know, someone's focusing on, like, the cups that have been knocked over. Again, I feel like if you lost someone, like, like I feel like singing the song, Don't cry for me, Argentina. I don't know why. <clears throat> anyway. I feel like the only person who wants you in that energy and how do I say this? Like, and, and trust me, I've had a lot of loss. Um, but I feel like it's you. It's us. Five of Cups asked for change. This person is willing to do the, make that change. Or at least begin. You know, there are two there are two cups on the other side. So we'll see. We have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Um it can be Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. You know, the person in the Five of Cups is looking back at the past. The person in the Queen of Cups is looking forward. She's got a cup in her hand. But she's looking towards the future. You know, and I, I'm noticing, like, the ship that's coming in that... I feel like she's unaware of. We have the strength card. Part of Leo. Definitely about overcoming. You know, it it's to me, it means it's an inner journey. Like, you know, there's only one way to really overcome it, and it's to, like, face it, whatever it may be. Face fear, you know, look it in the face. Um, ultimately, it becomes the energy of courage. You know, it's almost, and, you know, medicine, the infinity above her head. Again, I feel this energy uh, for some of you, like, um, let's just say someone in your spiritual team feels like has a very mothering type energy. It's interesting. Some of you may, like, have some of these same, hmm, binds. that your loved one had and it's almost like I feel like it's an opportunity to like break that it's almost like maybe it's generational and now it's landed on you but I feel like this is the, the overcoming of that
You know, number eight, a new beginning, number one. Number of infinity, as above, so below. Strength card, in, or I'm sorry, the hangman in the awakened state, right above it. <clears throat> Might start with the change. You know, again, whatever is, whatever is like, turn this empress around. It has something to do with this five of cups. Look at that. Look at this. We have the Empress in reverse again. Under the High Priestess. We have the Knight of Cups. Under the Five of Cups. But look at this. We have the Hangman in the Awakened State again. I don't know if I've ever had that in a reading. You know, unfortunately, that means that, that the Empress being reversed, um, and, and, you know, here's this Knight of Cups, where normally it's like an unexpected couple fulfillment, but, you know, maybe, maybe it just isn't time, you know, maybe whatever this Eight of or um, a strength card is for you because again it's something of an inner journey maybe like something that binds you but like like internally you know it's almost like you're saying no to love and it's almost like because I'm putting those intentions out there, it's like, I don't know, it feels like in a way, is it stopping it? You know, there's no way around saying that the Empress, the reason why she's in reverse is because of where her focus is at. It is on something that she's lost, he or she. Um, and I feel like I feel like there's nothing I can do about that. And I don't mean I mean that in a loving way, like there's nothing I can do. Um, but I feel like this strength being sent to you, you know, this connection, like, I don't feel like the connection has gone anywhere. Um, and just think about like, you know, your spiritual team, but them being in like this beautiful light energy and then that guidance, like, you know, that's guidance you can trust. You know, I don't like seeing the Empress twice in reverse. And it's interesting how each time, well, the Knight of Cups it was what is what follows. 
But and then the hangman, like each of them connecting to this hangman, um, normally is a pause in action, right? But it can certainly signify like it's go time for something, you know, ready or not. Um, but it also feels about like just spiritual awakening and even spiritual understanding. You know what I mean? Like if I'm if I'm if I find myself lost in the sadness, um, and if it is over loss, you know, like I feel like nobody wants you to live in that energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles, that two eights connected, 88. Mm. I mean, this is great energy for, like, taking, you know, this spiritual awareness, spiritual clarity, even, like, maybe, I don't know, I feel like taking that energy and then creating potentially a business for yourself, you know, or doing something with that energy. You know, remember the Empress is very creative, um, but because she's in reverse, I feel like, well, that's probably been shut down. And sometimes that just may be her saving grace. You know, I need to get lost within a craft again. The, the Eight of Pentacles, you know, ask you to be willing to be the apprentice um, but with the knowing that as long as you focus upon it you will be the master teacher you know what I mean you will be the master of your craft you have that potential and it does feel like, you know, some of it just feels like it's coming from, like, the things that you overcame, your own experiences, like, you know, it all feels part of that in some way. You know, I could have just simply said, just not interested in love right now. Maybe, maybe you have found the Eight of Pentacles and, you know, hopefully loving what you do. Definitely should be feeling inspired. If not, I feel like it's coming. <clears throat> you know, and then I'm thinking, well, then the Empress is in reverse. Will she receive, like, will... Like, will she re will the signs reach her? The signs will reach her. Will she recognize them? And I felt because the hangman is so close to each of them, it, it feels like the answer is yes. We have the Seven of Pentacles. You know, sometimes I feel like in the Seven of Pentacles, everything happens for a reason. And we may not understand it at the time. <clears throat> and, you know, sometimes we find ourselves on these new paths and we don't know where they're going to lead, but we follow them. And, you know, I find I that's what I did with Chiro. I, you know, I didn't know that much about it, um, but it was just calling to me. So I just did it. You know what I mean? And now it's just like second nature to me. Anyway, what I'm saying is it started with like a seed and turned into a full-fledged business. So seven of pentacles to me, you know, and listen, I don't feel like I'd be able to do what I do without having the experiences that I've been through. 
because I've been through a lot. And I feel like, you know, it's that understanding, that empathy that allows me to like really reach your like soul to soul. Seven of Pentacles really is about, you know, it can talk about seeds that have already been planted. And this may be like the time for one to come about. Seven of Pentacles, the first message within the card is patience. And it is mirroring this Knight of Cups, which is, again, unexpected cup of fulfillment. But maybe, again, it's like, but I wanted to do like this, you know. And, you know, what I else I like about the Eight of Pentacles is I don't feel like you need to know a lot in this energy. I feel like this is about learning as you go. You know, and the awakened hangman right next to that just feels like a blessing over it. All right. We have the king of swords on the bottom of the deck. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> we don't have any of that out here. King of Swords. We've got three of swords right below him. Or right behind him. Three of wands. Hmm. In a way, it makes me feel like that's energy that potentially is leaving. But again, this king carrying the three of swords with him. You know, did he cause that? Let's go ahead into the Guild of Chiro and let's go ahead and just go deeper. All right. You know, I'm thinking this Queen of Swords, she's holding her cup, or this Queen of Cups is holding her cup out. But yet, there's the Empress in reverse, who's very loving and nurturing. But again, in reverse. So. I don't know how one could be. You know what I mean? They're like energies just don't fit. We have the Nine of Wands. So, you know, Nine of Wands is about reflecting back. Um, can talk about a cycle. We live in nine-year cycles. Um, your life path number will let you know, like, where you're at upon it, you know, within the cycle. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so, but it's, but it's really looking back and recognizing really how you've grown from these situations, things that you've overcome, and that's what you're looking at. You're looking at the things that you have overcome. Um, I feel like this person 
just like a spirit warrior because again the energy of courage you know like i wouldn't be who i am today even if i don't like all parts of myself you know i still feel like and in a way, I feel like you're right where you're meant to be. And I feel like things want to change. Maybe it's time for a change. Nine is about final reflection. You know, if nothing else... I also feel it could be your your spiritual team, like recognizing, like, you know, the growth that you've had, the growth really throughout your whole life. But so I feel like the only one, if there's any judgment, would be me judging myself. That's something I'm just... This we have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. We have the Magician. Wow. First of all, the Magician um, touching the Awakened Hangman over the Strength card where I really feel it is you like maybe having some type of change, right? Just something within you. You know, maybe you're like just oh, the bike about it, like ascending to a higher level. Um, but I do feel like there is something. There is something that could be again like a repeat pattern, whether it be you know in relationships, or it be something that again that I continued on. You know that could have. <clears throat> again affected someone that I loved and now it's me but I feel like you know again it's like you breaking this curse you know Ten of Swords tells me that you certainly have had enough Right, because it really does feel like dagger after dagger in your back, you know, almost like I feel like I've been in a streak of bad luck. But then right next to it is the magician, the manifester, you know, the one who brings it all to life. And he's connecting to the awakened hangman, but he's also connecting to you, to you know, let's say your money, but your creativity, your intuition. The hangman really teaches you that you possess everything you need to be successful, you know, in whatever journey you choose in life. And it's within you. So... So I definitely feel like you've been through something, but I definitely feel this is talking about emerging from that and it's almost like you're living again. We have the wheel, destiny. We have the Hierophant. Hmm, interesting. Um, Card of Tars. It's about your beliefs. And then we have the Seven of Wands. Someone may be speaking their peace. Saying how they feel. You know, bringing something to an end. You know, you have faith that's right next to that. And I like that. I love that. I love that it's following the wheel. I feel like for one thing, like if it's has anything to do with love, then chances are like, you know, 
it's pretty clear that you want someone who <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Um, I don't want to, I don't, you know, like I want to say like a man or a woman of faith, but I don't mean it so much like as in religion, but you know, just, I just feel like it, you know, at least morals that, that you yourself carry. And it just kind of feels like you're, like, in a way, you're freeing yourself. You're saying, enough is enough. Um, it's like you're finding yourself. You know, it's interesting because the silver lining is, I feel like, through all this, is you're really finding yourself. And it's like you're reclaiming the things that you can do. Uh, maybe even the things that you're meant to do. You know, and maybe in the moment you don't, like ah i don't know but yes i but yes i feel like but you can some of you i feel like you're telling people you know or even just a person like i'm you know i'm completely completely aware of what's going on you know whatever that may mean but i feel like you have complete awareness so you know if i'm worried like well something within the ten of swords like if i continue that energy you know will it get better i feel like the answer is no it'll just either remain the same you know it'll continue to be the ten of swords And I feel like some of you, that's what you're having an awareness of. You know, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a few different stories. All right, let's keep going. We have the Three of Pentacles over the Eight of Pentacles. That's kind of beautiful. You know, that's doing something that, let's just say you're uniquely qualified to do. And I'm not talking about like a degree. I just mean, and, and maybe that's why I said like my past experiences, I feel like helped me um, feel like where you're at, what you're going through. Um, and other people, you know, that I read for. But anyways, the Three of Pentacles is about your individuality. Um, and I love that it's over the Eight of Pentacles. So if you're creating in that energy, sometimes the Eight of Pentacles can ask the question, can I be successful? I feel like be true to you. Be true to you. Um, doesn't matter, like, if other people are doing what you do. Just be true to you. And, and then again, I feel like being fed, like ideas, epiphanies. So, great energy for creating, for building something, you know, and it, and it all kind of feels like it was meant to be. You know, maybe it is something that really is taking your life's experiences and so, you know, maybe it feels like, well, when? Well, now you have them. Now you understand them, you know. And then we have the King of Wands. King of Wands is under the wheel. He's over the Seven of Pentacles. Um... So, King of Wands can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But, to me, this king is about someone who is of action. You know, I feel like um, he is mirroring the Hierophant. I like that. 
So I do feel like someone who matches your morals. And then there's that nine or that knight of cups, unexpected couple fulfillment. Yet this king's over the seven of pentacles, which I feel really is your tree of life. And the wheels like it's moving. It's moving. <laughs> And who knows, like some of you could, could have been doing something and, you know, you're finding at least satisfaction in that. And who knows, maybe someone else is like aware of that, admires that. You know, I don't think the King of Pentacles is like a slow moving king i feel like you know let's just say he desires you i feel like you're gonna know that he desires you and i feel like i want to go right below We have the two of pentacles. So the two of pentacles coming over the knight of cups in reverse. Unexpected couple fulfillment, but now it's in reverse. The hierophant's over that. So again, I do feel like for some of you, it's like, you know, like maybe you're being pretty clear. And you yourself, you know, it's like, you're at least one of the hangman here who's having this spiritual awareness. Maybe the king also is. So you get the two pentacles over that. And I have to say, at least I feel like you're making a decision. You're thinking about it. You know, they call it the juggler's card. I really think it's about using your logical mind. Like... You know what I mean? Like, let your heart feel. But also, you know. I feel like if, if there's anything wrong with this person, it would be revealed pretty quickly. But anyways, let's see what else we get. We have the moon. Mm, we have the Taurus moon coming out. We have the King of Cups, interesting. So now we have the Queen of Cups, now we have the King of Cups. And then, well, just like I said, I didn't feel like the energy would move slow with this Knight of, Cup, this Knight of Pente uh, Wands. And here's fast moving energy. But it's also energy of what I think about, I bring about. But listen, maybe it's time. Maybe it's just time. You know, really for everything. You know, I feel both the King of Wands and the King of Cups look at the queen of cups in the same way like so i feel like it's different people for different people you know what i mean um and i don't necessarily mean it has to be their sign because king cups would be someone who um you know may speak like terms of endearment um but they're both like there's both having this recognition of you you know And you may be questioning, like, do I move forward with something? You know, will it be successful? And then you have the moon. The moon can certainly represent uncertainties. But I feel like sometimes all you got to do is look back. You know what I mean? Because if, I'm, let's say, one of these would just so happen to be, you know, whoever put dagger after dagger after maybe, again, this king with the three swords under him. 
you know, if that returns, I merely need to look back to know where it would take me. So, you know, then it feels like the right people coming in, the people who will appreciate you for who you are, you know, I mean, truly who you are. Um, you know, s someone is going to appreciate your ideas, uh, your creative mind. You know, maybe those things that you kind of shut down with, you know, within yourself, it's like they're like kind of being reactivated. And it does feel like it's coming after a period of, you know, not such easy time, but at the same time, this is like, I feel like you're meant to have, it feels kind of like a rebirth. Um, you know, this connection to above is like crystal clear. And if it doesn't feel that way, it doesn't mean it's not that way. You know what I mean? And sometimes it's just literally us bringing ourselves back to the present moment, like thinking, okay, what do I want to do? What do I want to create? You know, because the wheel's moving whether the Empress is in the upright or not. And it feels like the Knight of Cups comes in whether the Empress is planning it or not planning it. So it still feels unexpected, but yet it feels like it does put the ball in your court. And I feel like the answer to, like, how do I know this can be successful? Well, if it's someone from the past who literally has broken your heart over and over and over and over again, then I feel like clearly that would be a no. But if it's someone that you'd feel that sees you for who you are, um, doesn't shut, try to shut down parts of you, right? Appreciates like all of you. Then I feel like, you know, you're on the right path. And then it's really about the two of you building like your Ten of Cups together. You know, it's interesting because a lot of times I'll read the Eight of Wands as what I think about, I bring about. And it is mirroring the Empress in reverse. And also, again, this Knight of Cups. So I, I may not have been like love, it may not have been in the forefront. But that doesn't mean because the Seven of Pentacles feels like, okay, they give it like an apple tree, like apple has become ripe. Right? I'm either going to pick it now and eat it while it's ripe and juicy, or I'm going to let it dry up and die. Well, it feels like one of these apples, if not two, are becoming ripe. And I feel like the best way you can guarantee yourself a good future is to think about, you know, to live in the present moment. And to plant those seeds, you know. To allow yourself to be yourself. Know that you're connected to above. That's never going to change. All right, I'm just going to bring out the romance angels. You know, it all feels pretty clear, but let's go ahead and bring them out, because we do have the Knight of Cups. And we have the Queen and the King of Cups, even though it's a different sign. To me, it doesn't matter. It's like, you know, same energy. And it really is loving energy, but doesn't mean I didn't go through hell. With someone.
Could have been a couple different things, you know, like losing someone, and that's caused me to like really look at my life. And first thing I think I feel like you have to realize is like your life is not over. There's a lot yet for you to do, and really, it is using this wisdom that you you've created that you've possessed, right? That no one can take away from you. And, you know, in some way, somehow, I feel like you're forging it with, like, your spirituality. And then if you're creating out of that energy or even just trusting in that energy, I feel like the rest just kind of falls in place for you. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Same thing Mother Mary said. We, st we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith bring you romance. We have faith. And then release your ex. Well, I feel like that's your ten of swords energy. The time has come to clear your energy. Now, that's only getting you ready for new energy, right? So it feels like part of the lesson here is really like learning to love yourself again, give yourself opportunities. Um, again, you could have certainly like, you know, have no problem giving to others, but you're forgetting to give to yourself. We have, look at this, true love. This is a romance of a lifetime true love, and then getting to know each other. You know, I like that for Virgo because I often feel like, you know, if you really want to know who someone is, give them the time to reveal their true character. They will. They'll show you. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, getting to know each other. A true love, you know, is it your ex? Well, it doesn't look like it. Looks like that's what I have to release. So, in this Knight of Cups, there is a true love. You know, remember how I said, even in the Five of Cups, the first card in the Tarot portion, um, it's a five, and it's like, where's my focus? Focus is on what I have lost. And I said, when this person turns around, there are two cups. And this could be the journey to them. You know what I mean? But it feels like first is the journey to find yourself. Trust yourself. Create. You know, do the things you want to do. Um, and then I feel like romance, it, it's just going to happen. But. I feel like it does, you know, help you, first of all, getting to know each other, having these, these deep conversations, Virgo likes that, you know, Sam and I spent five years on the phone before we got back, before we moved in together, and um, they were long, you know, I mean, it was like, like when I get home from work until I went to bed, we were on the phone. Um. And we knew each other as teenagers, but we didn't know each other as adults. So we were really were getting to know each other again. But, you know, there was a lot of romance that happened on the phone. Like I wouldn't, re like I wouldn't, I don't regret that it took me so long. You know what I mean? I feel like everything happened right when it's meant to happen. Even like me booking my airline, you know, it's right in the middle of COVID, right when we didn't know. And just real quick, it's like I got bumped to first class just for no reason. And there was no one around me. And I wasn't even thinking COVID, but Sam does have a heart condition. So I did think like, you know, like, oh, man, I hate to bring him COVID. Um, but I got bumped to first class. And then um, I had a connecting flight and I got off my 
one flight, and I swear to God, the entrance to the next flight was right there. And that never happens to me. It's always like across the airport. So I get on, and wouldn't you know it, I get bumped to first class again. Again, by myself. I get out of there, and it's like baggage is like right, like not far at all. It was just interesting. Um, I feel like it all happened like at the right time. If it would have happened later, or let's say I didn't make, I didn't like, you know, I just got up one day and I was just like, you know what, just book your ticket. And I did. And it was March 8th. Um, You know what I mean? Because I feel like that's the way I had to do it. So anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you all this, except that um, you just never know. You just never know. You know, listen, I was in my 50s and I feel like because I do feel like this, this is also talking about the wisdom you have gained. And I'm not saying you have to be 50. I'm just saying that I feel like you've lived some life. You've gone through some things. Um, but also, this is really, truly about how you've overcome them. You know, how strong you really are inside. Um, because it feels like an inner journey that leads you to what feels like not only, you know, I feel like the Empress then turns around and Empress is normally abundant. Right? She's abundant because because of her creativity. Um, because of her trust in herself and trust in her signs. So, you know, I always love the Empress anywhere near the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like that kind of guarantees me success. Um, but then I feel like this true love is also, you know, here it is. And I do like a lot that um, I do feel like this is talking about someone who, you know, if like morals is important to me, well, then we have, you know, pretty much the same morals, maybe even a lot of the same experiences. Um, and it's made each one of you who you are today. Again, it's the appreciation you know, it's really the appreciation of you, the person, like deep within your soul, soul recognition. Let's put it that way. But hey, true love, this is a romance of a lifetime. And listen, if it's got to go slow, or at least that's what you say, so be it. Take it slow. But I don't feel like it would take you long to realize the difference, let's just say, between whoever this ex is and whoever this true love is. I don't feel like it would take you long just to, to know the difference between the levels of love here. Um, and maybe both of the hang, you know, we have two hangmans in the awakened state, maybe both, you know, in the two of cups, which would be a soulmate. Um, maybe both have had, like, this spiritual journey and maybe that's exactly what our souls asked for. You know what I mean? Like outside of each other and then and then we come together. So, you know, you can't say it's impossible because it's happened to me. Um, though I didn't think about it. I did think it was impossible until it became possible. So, that's all. Anyway. I feel like let that creativity shine, like trust that you're receiving signs. Um, maybe it's coming through numbers. Maybe, you know, again, it could be coming in a lot of different ways. Um, but it all it's all pointing back to you, you know, you and what you do with you. You know what I mean? All right. I think I'm going to let that be. So, wow. What a reading. Um, 
you know, it's like we've gone from the dark to the light. But we've definitely gone through the dark. But now it's like, here's the light. I feel like there's a lot of truth has been revealed, maybe to oneself. Um, but then also the potential of what can be. Like, don't put any limits on it. Even if you feel like you're not ready. Well, I feel like your soul, you know, your soul's taking over. Like, wait a minute, I've been, I, you know, I've been giving you the wheel, but now I'm going to take the wheel. Anyway, I don't even worry about it. I feel like as you start to move through this energy, it just feels like what's on your path anyway. So, I would just say, do you create, um, you know what I mean? And I feel like energetically the energy is changing also, but I also feel like you're changing and, um, it's only leading to bigger and better things. That's all I can say. That's what I should end it on. I thank you guys. I love you truly. Um, thank you for your comments. I can't wait to read them. Honestly, <laughs> um, I don't answer them all the time right away, but I do read them right away. Um, normally, and if I don't, I go back and read them. Um, so I thank you for your comments. And let's just let me know where you're at. Um, I also feel like you help each other in the comment section. You know, I can tell you that I've been here. And I've been here in multiple ways. Um, but I am here now. And when I was here, did I think this this was possible? No, I was kind of lost in this. But the wheel kept moving. So anyway, anyway, I just I feel like saying like ex like expect special messages um but for some reason they feel physical to me like the way this guitar came to me i'm not even going to go into it but you know um to me it was like from you know from above um but anyways that's why i'm saying physical i don't know could be different ways but i feel like um i feel like you're connecting to someone uh, and they're connecting to you and um i don't know you may get like a message that just might be like you know undeniable undeniable anyways i love you guys thank you i'll see you next time at our table bye bye